What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video. You know, I've been recently looking around my office here and I feel I need to address something with all of you real quick. I think I may have a bit of a problem. Uh, I mean, I told myself that I wouldn't be one of those channels that literally has everything in their setup just blinged out with all of the RGB you could possibly find, but I mean, just look. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, it's become a bit of a problem. And uh, at this point, I don't know what to do really. I mean, I, I'm literally like one, you know, maybe one or a few more things here that I don't have that's RGB. And it seems like if I just get one more RGB accessory in this office, I'm just gonna end up having a room full of RGB unicorn puke. Yeah? You got something. Oh. Well, alrighty then. What is it? Let's let's uh let's check this thing out. Thanks, Alex. Okay, so I wonder what this could be. So switch keys, the key dot co. Okay, I don't remember buying this. Nine hundred by four hundred millimeter RGB. Son of a. All right, guys. In all seriousness, I've tried out a few mouse pads this year to say the least and I started buying a, a couple of them and honestly I just couldn't stop and after a bit I discovered in all that madness it, I really just kind of figured out what I really like under my mouse for fast paced FPS games and editing and all that. Now the mouse pad I'm going to be featuring today checks pretty much all those boxes for me and at the same time adds a bit of style points to your setup as well. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed. Okay, first let's start out with the material this mouse pad is rocking. So this pad is a mixture of cloth and rubber and it has a very grippy anti-slip underside. So basically it'll glide on top, but never on the bottom. So I've tried a couple of mice on top of this mouse pad and I have to say, it feels extremely similar to the Odin gaming mouse pads that are typically my personal favorite and are always on my desk. So those pads have an absolute perfect mixture of feel and speed underneath your mouse and this pad feels extremely similar to that. Now that I've established that this mouse pad has it in the performance department, 
let's see what it has in the looks department. Now, since these large mouse pads are a centerpiece of your setup, it's very important that they have a stylish and unique look. And this pad has it in every way. So from the candy colored rock look design on the top with the RGB color around the edges, I mean, this thing will definitely draw an eye to your setup in a very bold way. I personally love how it looks with my custom keyboards, my cables, my mice, and all of my other desk accessories. Since pretty much everything else in my setup, like I said, has adopted that RGB look, I figure having a mouse pad to match is just the icing on the cake at this point. Now, of course, this mouse pad was one of those group buys and I ordered it way back in August and I only received it two weeks ago. Yikes. But uh, if you're versed in the group buy world, then you'll know this is pretty normal. Uh, but unfortunately, the orders are just now, you know, being filled and everything like that. I must have been one of the first ones, so that's why I got it already. And they say they may have some extras available sometime soon. But as of right now, you actually can't get one, which really sucks because I'm making a video about it. So it's like, oh, I got it. You can't have it. But I do have some other options for you. Like I said, I've tried quite a few mouse pads this year and I figured I'd give you some thoughts on them. So like I said, the Odin Gaming mouse pads are very, very close to feel of this RGB mouse pad that we're talking about today and basically are my second choice with the perfect mouse pad. Honestly, it's my first choice, but other than this RGB one, it's my second choice. So yeah, if you want something very clean and very smooth, they're probably the best ones on the market and also come with awesome colors to match your setup as well. A third option for you guys would be to pick up one of the glorious XXL mouse pads. Now these things are huge they, and they pretty much come in just black or white. So uh, if you're looking for a like monochrome look to your desk, desk setup, these feel very, very smooth and they hold up tremendously. So I've used these in a couple videos and I love it. And lastly, here is the budget option for those of you that need a mouse pad and just don't have much to spend on one. This may be a little unexpected, but it's actually from good old Corsair and it's their MM300 extended mouse pad. So this is the mouse pad that I used for years before getting into these more premium ones that I just showed you. And it still holds up to this day. Uh, these also come at an extremely cheap price. So they make for a great price and performance option for those of you guys out there balling on a budget. So that's really it fam. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out a more premium style mouse pad. And again, I'm sorry that you guys can't actually get it right now, but maybe if you check in the future. Uh, but I hope I possibly gave you a few options to choose from as well. And if I did end up helping you out, make sure you guys tell me down in the comments which one interests you the most and what you'd actually consider picking up. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button for me and uh, get subscribed with those notifications on if you haven't already. So you'll always be notified on my next upload or when my next stream goes live. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Later.